because I was eating an earhead. Gosh. I was like looking at the monitor, I'm like, why is my tongue green? Well, I see on YouTube a lot of different beginner makeup tutorials, and I feel like they're all very like intermediate slash advanced. They're not really beginner, okay? So I wanted to just do a really simple easy beginner makeup tutorial for you, okay? Especially if you're an everyday girl and you like everyday makeup, simple, easy, this is the video for you to watch. I'm including lots of tips and tricks. I'm actually getting really hot in this jacket right now to be real, hello, hello, fashion. Fashion is real. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're jumping right into today's video. First thing is, we're going to start off with our moisturizer. You always want to moisturize your skin slash hydrate your skin so your makeup goes on your skin as smooth and easy as possible. If your skin is really dry, if it's really oily, it's very sensitive, find the right moisturizer for you. This one that I'm using is from Garnier, and it's, in the, and it's sold in the drugstore, so it's super easy to find. <laughs> Second step is I would recommend for you to use a foundation, a BB cream, or a CC cream. It's really up to you and the coverage you're looking for. It also depends on your skin type, whether you have oily, dry, or sensitive skin. Now, I personally have more oily skin, and I'm still using this foundation, which is geared to more dry skin, so it has a, has a bit more glowiness to it, slash it comes off more dewy on the skin. But I love using it for my skin type. Then this third step is very optional. It's really up to you and if you've got the desired coverage you wanted from your foundation. But I'm going to go in with a concealer. You can definitely use a concealer that's definitely, hello, less expensive, okay, okay, from the drugstore. Maybelline has great ones, L'Oreal, Wet n Wild, Cold Lab, lots of different brands. But I like to keep that concealer really as close as I can to under the eye. Now step four, I personally believe, it doesn't matter what type of skin type you have, whether it's oil, dry, or sensitive, you should always set your makeup. So I'm just gonna use a light layer of powder. Now I'm using the Too Faced Mattifying Powder and the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. There's definitely a lot of different brands that come out with loose, translucent powders from the drugstore. Again, the Maybelline one is one of the best loose setting powders that has like color ranges or shade ranges skin color, range of skin tone, you know what I mean. Then moving on to my brows, I always like to make sure I brush my brows going into the same direction so it's not all janky and everything. Then I go ahead and start filling them in. I start at the outer arch of my brows. Then I lightly go ahead and just fill my brows in at the inner corner of my brow. I'm very light in this area. I recommend for you to keep a very light hand. I can be really harsh with my brows. And after I finish filling in my brows, I always like to go back in with the spoolie area just to help brush my brows out so it looks very natural. And then I like to define my brows using concealer. Now again, I'm using the concealer that I use under my eyes the Urban Decay one and just applying it right under my brows and then blending it out. This will really help to define your brow and make your arch pop even more. Have you tried it before? Then of course, I'm gonna pop on some mascara. I think especially being a beginner, mascara is so important. It helps to really make your eyes pop and brighten it up a lot more. I know when I don't apply mascara, I look cray cray when I have a full face on. So definitely recommend for you to apply mascara also. One of my favorites right now is the Collab plus the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara together. Let me know what's your favorite mascara down below. I really actually wanna know because I'm always like trying to put mascaras because remember they 
they expire in three months so always looking for new ones then lastly for my lips, I definitely recommend to use a lip gloss or a matte lipstick or even just a lipstick. It's really up to you. I personally love using matte lipstick and glosses together. One, my lipstick is going to stay on very long. And the second thing is it's going to give me that glossy finish. So it's like super easy to wear throughout the day. Alright guys, so this is the finished look today, okay? I feel like it's very like everyday beginner friendly. Like as a beginner, like I know I was not applying false lashes like every day. That was not happening. I was not trying out to do a wing liner. I was like scared to death, honestly. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. I hope you learned something new. If you're not subscribed yet again, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Hey! <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you leave a comment down below. I really appreciate it. And I love talking to you. Like, I don't just make videos because, like, you know, I make videos. I do it because I love talking to you. So always leave a comment because I usually always reply. <laughs> I hope you guys are excited for the new year. I'm super pumped. And I will see you in my next